If a white person made a video like this, it would be considered racist, but this happens. Your hairstyle is cultural appropriation. First of all. This lady is disgusting and racist. I hope this is just satire. Oh my god, look what they're doing. They're treating me like a black person. Wait. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I've come across quite the gem. The Root is an organization that produces news and comedic media that caters to the woke black community. Judge of Characters is their most popular video series, and recently The Root posted this video. So today we're going to answer that question. I've been presenting the best in black Twitter hot topics for a year now. More like dragon racist, if you ask me. Yeah, that too. And I've had it up to here with the racist failed logic around racism. So it's time to troll the trolls. <laughs> Since when does calling out racism and demanding change make someone a racist? It makes you racist when all your comments about white people are negative, especially when your comments about white racism are based on arbitrary things like seasoning. Generalizations are never correct, and when you generalize about one race in a negative way, you can't fault people for thinking that you're racist. But let's define racism so that we are all on the same page. Racism is a belief that race is the primary determinant of human traits and capacities, and that racial differences produce an inherent superiority of a particular race. Cool, you provided an actual definition of racism that isn't prejudice plus power. But coincidentally, that definition seems odd. It fails to address negative generalization and possible political influence. According to Miriam Webster, politics can be used to target any racial group, so I wonder what political leanings influenced Danielle to target white people in her Judge of Characters video series. I know that addressing racism can make some white people feel attacked, guilty, and angry. Good. You should feel something. God knows we do. Now I know not all white people are racist, but because of America's solid system of racism, many white folks are born with the, let me speak to your manager, hormone. That way of thinking is why people say your show is racist, Danielle. You assume all white people have privilege and you continue to be rude and say that they have a let me speak to your manager hormone, whatever that means. To deny the obvious racism in this country is to deny the truth. America is built on the legacy of legally granting rights and privileges to white people, but denying those same rights and privileges to all other races, especially black people. And while black people have progressed in a country that was designed to keep us from doing just that, racism is still alive and thriving. No one is denying that racism exists, but it seems that you want to equate current racial relations with those of the late 1960s, when the two couldn't be more different. You even said it yourself, that blacks in the United States live better lives than they did in the past. <laughs> I'm confused. How does your statement about racism being a thing in the present absolve you of racism towards white people? Just this year alone, we've seen a bold resurgence of white nationalists. Have you ever asked yourself why? I'm sure you would become radical too if every day someone is telling you that you're a horrible person for just being yourself. After this, Danielle goes on to showcase some choice comments she's received on some of her videos. The majority of them were obviously edgy comments, but two stuck out to me, so let's take a look. For this comment about my video on the racist white folks who called the cops on black people living. Blacks had rather perpetrate the hoax of racism and continue to be a burden on society. <clears throat> if I may, I am a burden. A burden to every troll out here thinking that racism exists only when people of color call it out. That comment Danielle was talking about how racism is used by politicians to guilt Americans into giving handouts to the black minority, and somehow you construe that into racism only exists when POC call it out. What's even sadder is when a black person accuses me of racism. This comment is from a black person on my video about the racist 911 callers. As a black person, I'm pretty disappointed. I can report this for racism, right? Oh my god, he doesn't agree with me. Uh. Uh, what do I do? What does the handbook say? I don't know, man. I wasn't trained for this. But seriously, how is that even an argument? I guess black people aren't allowed to have different opinions. Or maybe in reality, you feel more guilty because even a black person said you're being racist. I, Judge Danielle, call out racism. That does not make me a racist. Oh, how wrong you are. I hope you guys enjoyed, and big thanks to Lalia Silverwolf for drawing my character. Her Twitter handle's in the description. Please check her out. And if you want to request any videos, you can let me know in the comments down below or in the Discord chat. See you guys next time, and have a nice day.